start with those new details just in on the fatal shooting of a Pleasanton Home Depot employee and the two East Bay people now in custody. We appreciate your time. Thanks for being here. I'm Julian Glover. And I'm Kristen Z. Police have just wrapped up a news conference moments ago. Let's get the very latest now from ABC 7 News reporter Amanda Del Castillo, live in Pleasanton. Amanda. Yeah, we now know the identity of the victim, Blake Mose. He's a 26-year-old unarmed loss prevention employee and Tri-Valley resident. And the identities of those suspects, both from Oakland, was also revealed today by police, though ABC7 News will not be identifying them at this time. Now, armed security was seen walking through the Pleasanton Home Depot, where 26-year-old Mose was shot and killed yesterday afternoon while attempting to stop a theft. By this morning, it was business as usual as the location of Interstate 580 reopened its doors to customers. Police say Mose confronted a 32-year-old woman from Oakland who allegedly resisted and then shot him. A 31-year-old Oakland man is accused of being her getaway driver. Leading Alameda County Sheriff's Office to track the suspects into East Oakland from the air with a two-year-old child in the car. The suspects were detained by Oakland PD and the Alameda County Sheriff's Office. Witnesses at the Home Depot tell police the victim was trying to stop someone from stealing. A struggle followed, then the shooting. When Pleasanton police arrived, they say they found the man inside the store bleeding. He had worked at uh, Home Depot for, for a, a period of time, and several of our officers knew him through his work at Home Depot. Um, those same officers were out there yesterday, and uh, you know they're grieving with Blake's family as well. Now, the male suspect was booked into Santa Rita Jail. The female suspect is currently receiving medical treatment from injuries sustained in the incident and not during the arrest. We know that a gun was recovered. We're told it was not legally registered. Both have been booked on murder, robbery, child endangerment, and conspiracy charges. Police say that more could be added to that. We know that for the victim, Moes, he was expected to be married sometime this summer. For now, I'm reporting live in Pleasanton, Amanda Del Castillo, ABC 7 News.